Hi, I'm Nate, a field engineer intern at One Energy. Welcome to today's Science Short. Today we are going to expand your understanding of atmospheric pressure and how it relates to what we do here at One Energy by conducting a cool experiment. Pressure is the measurement of how much force or push is acting over an area. Atmospheric pressure, which is the same thing as air pressure, can be thought of as the weight of the air above the Earth's surface. In other words, air molecules push on anything on Earth's surface. Today's experiment will help us get better understand the concept of push, or pressure. Before we get started, an important safety note, do not try this experiment at home or without parental supervision. I'm also going to put on the proper protective gear because safety first. So here I have a bowl of cold water, an empty soda can, and a hot plate. For this experiment to work as intended, the bowl must be really cold. That's why I put a bunch of ice cubes in it. Now I'm going to add a small amount of water to the can and heat it up on the hot plate until the water inside the can begins to boil. All right, I can hear the water bubbling inside the soda can. Now that, now that I know it's really hot inside the can, I'm going to quickly turn the can upside down and submerge the open end into the bowl of cold water. Whoa, our soda can was crushed. Let's see that again. You saw that I didn't crush the can with my hands. All I did was move it from the hot plate to the cold water. There was some sort of outside phenomenon that was working here, and that phenomenon was atmospheric pressure. But how did atmospheric pressure make this happen? When the soda can is just resting, the atmospheric pressure inside the can and outside the can are equal. Air is pressing with the same amount of push from both inside and outside the can. But once it's placed on the hot plate, things started to change. When the water inside the can began to heat up, the water molecules in the bottom started to turn into gas. This caused the molecules to start to spread further away from each other, and some even escaped outside the opening of the can. Because of the molecules remaining inside the can were spread apart, this slightly decreased the atmospheric pressure inside. This decrease in pressure inside the can, caused by boiling the water, was not drastic enough to have a noticeable effect on the can. But once I flipped it, the can upside down and submerged the hole in the ice water, this amplified the pressure difference due to the large temperature difference between what's on the inside of the can and the water in the bowl. The pressure difference grew large enough that the air molecules outside the can all rushed inwards and the can was crushed in the process. In the What is Wind Science short, we learned that molecules want to move from an area of high pressure to an area of low pressure. The same concept applies where here with our soda can. There was high pressure outside the can and a low pressure inside the can. The air molecules wanted to move from the area of high pressure to the area of low pressure. And when there's a large difference in pressure, a lot of those air molecules want to move. So they all rushed to the low pressure area at the same time, as was the case with our soda can. And that's it for this installment of Science Shorts. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to catch the next episode. Thanks for watching and remember, challenge everything.